Hi, I am Matt Tavares. I am an author and an illustrator of a bunch of different books. Uh, just to show you some of my books, uh, I've got a few right here. I did, um, this is uh, one of my newest books, it's called Dasher. It is uh, the story of how Santa's reindeer became Santa's reindeer. I did another uh, sort of a, a holiday book uh, called Red and Lulu. Um, see those nice shiny letters there. Um, now sometimes I am the illustrator and someone else is the author. Like this is one of my newer books. Uh, it's called A Ben of All Trades, uh, written by Michael J. Rosen, and I did the pictures. Um, I also have a bunch of baseball books. Uh, this is uh, Growing Up Pedro, about the uh, the great Red Sox pitcher Pedro Martinez. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to be part of this uh, first ever Bath Book Bash. Um, I know we had to do it a little differently this year. Um, hopefully by next year we can do this in person. Um, but I thought what I would do for my video, uh, I did a, a series of these videos in the spring. Um, I called it Monday Mornings with Matt, where I do one a week and um, I, would, I would do a little drawing lesson. So I thought it'd be fun to do one of those today. Um, now, when I was doing those weekly videos, um, I had a great bunch of kids who would join me every week and they'd send me in their drawings. It was so much fun. Um, now this summer, every time I saw my, my nephews, Will and Jack, uh, they would draw with me every time last spring. And, and Jack kept telling me, next time I do it, I should draw a T-Rex. So I thought for today, um, even though Will and Jack, they live in Massachusetts, so they might not normally come all the way to Bath for a book bash. But since we're doing it virtually, anyone can come from anywhere. So that's one good thing, I guess. So I was thinking uh, they'll probably be drawing along with me. So I thought it'd be fun today, even though I don't have any books about dinosaurs. Um, I thought it'd be fun to draw a T-Rex. So I have my paper. I have my pencil. Uh, now this is a time where if you don't have paper and pencil, you can just press pause and go find yourself some paper, some pencils. Make sure you have a good place to draw. I always like to be sitting in a chair at a table, but you know, some people like to draw on the floor, how, however it works for you. Get yourself all set up, um, and then when you're ready, you can, you can press play and keep going. Um, that's something we couldn't do if we were doing this in person. If you didn't bring your paper and pencil, you'd, you'd probably say, I didn't know I had to have paper and pencil, and, and uh, I don't know what would happen. Maybe we'd have it for you. But, but now you can go get all that stuff. Um, and we can get drawing. I'm going to switch to a split screen here. Give me a second. All right, so now you see my paper. I have, um, I like to use, these are my favorite pencils. They're, they're called Nero uh, Krita Color pencils. Oh, I realized I had a different one than I thought I had. Uh, I'll just use that one. That should be fine. Okay, um, so when I draw anything, I like to start with simple shapes. You know, like if you're drawing a person, a person's really complicated. Uh, sometimes you don't know where to you don't know where to start. Um, so, if I'm drawing a person or a T-Rex or a reindeer or anything, I always start with simple shapes and then I kind of build on it. So that's one thing that that if you remember anything from this, try to remember that starting with simple shapes. And also, the first marks that I make when I draw a picture, I don't push down really hard. Um, because those marks probably aren't in the right place yet. Um, they're kind of just to get me started. So as I'm starting with this blank white piece of paper, um, I need to just get started with something on the page. So I'm going to start with, for the shape of the body of a T-Rex, I'm gonna draw an oval. And if you've watched any of my other videos, and if you'd like to watch any of my other videos, if you go to my website, they're all posted there, uh, just my name, matttavares.com, or tavaresbooks.com, it's the same website. Um, and you can see all these videos, but I pretty much always start with an oval. Um, that's just kind of how I draw. Um, so if I'm looking at, I have a picture of a T-Rex here that I'm looking at, because it's hard to just remember what a T-Rex looks like. So I'm gonna start with, right in the middle of the page, just kind of looks like an egg. And it doesn't have to be exact. Um, it's just kind of something to get me started, like I said. Um, so there, I've got my oval. Um, now for the head, I'm gonna draw up here, um, kind of a circle. Now we've got, oh, that's upside down. Hmm. My goodness, let me see. How do I change that? All right, there it is. Now it is facing the right way. Phew, sorry about that. Okay, um, so we've got the oval and we've got the circle for the head. Um, so this is kind of where we're starting with. I'm gonna start to build on it now. Like the 
the head has to be connected to the body. So I'm going to make a neck. T-Rex kind of has his neck coming up like that. Um, now right now it could be a lot of different animals, right? Uh, now a T-Rex has these huge, uh, big, strong back legs. So I'm going to start with, um, it's almost a, another oval shape as like the top part of the leg on this side. So if you want to draw along with me, you can make an oval coming down, sort of a longer skinny oval there. And the other leg, we're going to make this T-Rex walking. So the other leg is, is kind of behind the oval. We're just going to see part of, part of it. So you see just a part of an oval coming down. And if I go too fast, you can press pause, catch up, take a moment. Um, usually I do these videos live, so there wasn't time to do that. But, but now you can, you can take your time. Um, now the, the leg, it kind of comes back like this. So I'm going to make this other little shape coming out the back here. Maybe I'll do that to both of them. This one is sort of stepping forward. So I'll make that one tilt it a little bit. So look at, for these, I'm not worrying about getting everything just right. I'm kind of scribbly. I'm kind of just, just diving right in and trying to, trying to get started. Now, now the T-Rex's feet, um, they're sort of like triangles. So I'm going to start with a triangle shape for each one. Um, and I'll get back to those with details. Uh, but I'm still thinking big shapes here. So the T-Rex has a big long tail. So I'm going to make the tail come out the back. Maybe it goes right off the page. So it goes right like that. And the tail is really just a, a long triangle, kind of a curvy triangle there. Um, now I think the coolest part of drawing a T-Rex is going to be the mouth because I'm will make i going to make its mouth wide open and show those big teeth. So from the head, we've got this little circle here, uh, but that's just kind of the, the beginning. Um, I'm going to make part of the head go up like this. So that's sort of the top half of the T-Rex's T-Rex's face. And we're going to make his mouth wide wide open. So here I'm going to make this part come down like this. So it's like another triangle. Then we get the bottom half of the T-Rex's face. Um, now the eye goes right around here somewhere, so we'll make this little circle. Looks like the, the head kind of juts out, sort of like where his, like an eyebrow would be, like kind of goes up like that, maybe curves back. Now these lines I'm making a little darker, because now I'm feeling like those are in the right place. I can, I can darken that up a bit. I've heard that called locking it in, like when you're you're sure it's in the right place, so you can kind of lock that line in. So you start out with all these kind of scribbly lines where you're kind of searching for where the line should be, and then you can lock it in once you once you know. Um, so now we have this big open mouth. Uh, let's see, maybe we can draw some teeth. We'll get into some details now. So along here, and you can make your teeth however however you think they should look. You know, maybe this actually loops around a little bit. If you want to make it look more 3D, you can make this kind of come around like that. I'm just going to make a bunch of these. They're just little triangles, right? Little V's. You can make them really big if you want. There's a bunch of teeth. I don't know how many teeth a T-Rex has. I bet some of you know that. We have some dinosaur experts out there. So there, our T-Rex has a bunch of teeth. Um, now one thing we're missing, uh, they have these tiny little arms. So here we've got one arm coming out there. Give a little, little claws there. And then the other arm will be like, I'll start it right there. We can't use those arms for much. There we go. I'll use their teeth for most of the stuff they do. Um, 
All right, now we'll get, let's get back to these feet. I just drew triangles, but they have these sort of talons. I don't know if that's what they're called. So I'm going to add these sort of like toes with a claw at the end of each one. Then I'm going to go over these lines a little bit, just make them darker. Um, same thing with this one. I'll add those. I think they'd be called talons. There we go. And I'll just extend that tail. Go over that too. So now we are now we are getting somewhere, right? Now that's starting to look like like a T-Rex. Now you can add details, you can make um, you know all the scales on the T-Rex's skin. You can color it in if you want. Um, maybe even think of a background. Maybe imagine where this T-Rex is what he's uh, what he's roaring at or maybe there's like volcanoes in the background or maybe he's just walking through a field who knows um, give him like an eyeball there so you can add whatever details you want to your T-Rex but I think I'm gonna stop there um, alright and don't forget at the end Sign your work. You got to take credit for it. So I'm going to write down here, Matt Tavares. Um, you can put a date on there too if you want. You can, you can remember when you drew it. Um, so for those of you, if you're watching this, um, probably whatever website you're watching it on, there's probably a link where you can buy books by the authors that are participating in the Bath Book Bash. I have um, I have these things here. They're called book plates. I'm going to sign these book plates and mail them to um, Mockingbird Books and they're the ones that are selling the books. So if you want to buy signed books, hopefully by the time you're watching this I have already written my name on all of these and mailed them to the bookstore and so they have some signed books that they can, uh, they stick them right in the book and, th and then they can send you some signed books. Um, well thank you for drawing with me, I hope you had fun. If, if you want to, I would love to see some of your artwork, you could um, post it online and uh, find me. I'm, I'm, I'm at Tavares Books on on most social media, um, Instagram or Facebook or, or Twitter. Um, and I hope you had a good time. I hope you would enjoy the rest of the Bath Book Bash. And hopefully we can all do this in person next year. Thank you.